What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious, you guys are the 11 crew, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Alright guys, what I have for you today is my hourglass chicken farm concept. Okay, obviously whenever I include the word concept, that usually means there's either something that's not perfect about it or something that could possibly change. Uh, in this case, there's, there's a lot of different ways that you can actually build it. The redstone is going to stay the same, uh, but in terms of that right there and even this little area down here it's completely and entirely up to you now this one is not fully automatic for the cooking it's fully automatic in terms of getting the the chickens and stuff in there okay but it's not fully automatic in terms of actually uh, cooking them because what you got to do is come by okay and they're all grown up or whatever right you press the button and it's not going to cook all of them okay the way i have it designed is that it just does a couple at a time i wanted it to be a quick pulse so it, you know, you don't, you don't ruin all of the chicken. And also, so you can have it as a cool design in your world. I mean, what's the point, right? Stand here a couple times. Now, like I said, you could do it so many ways. You could do it where uh, you actually control it with a lever. Okay, so I'll show you when we get in there. I like it this way. I like the quick pulse. I don't mind having this many chicken uh, in my world. So you'd come by every time. All right, wait till that guy stops burning. But just so just keep that in mind. This can be changed to whatever you want. Okay, I'm just going to show you how to do the design, which you can also spread out, and the redstone on top. And I'm going to show you what I did down here. But you can change it to whatever you like. Okay, so just just uh, always keep that in the back of your head. That's actually not too bad. Now you're going to get in this and down here. You're going to get eggs. You're going to get feathers, and you're going to get cooked chicken. Okay, so the egg part might be a problem for some people if you do not want that. All right, so you could do something where you filter out the regular chicken, um, or you just come by and you know get rid of the eggs. That's what I always do. I always have a place to, to get rid of them. I throw them away, whatever. Okay, so just keep that in mind. This is more of a fun build. It's very, it's still useful. I mean, you, it still works. 100%. It still works. So just you know, just keep that in mind. This is like a fun alternative. Okay. Anyway, let's come over here, show you how to build it, and see what you need. Okay, so you're gonna need some glass. You're going to need some stone or some whatever whatever design you want. I'm going to be using stone brick. Uh, two dispensers. Bunch of hoppers. Now, again, you can also do rails underneath. If, if you're into that, that's fine. I never use rails. You guys know that. I try not to. I just don't like them as much. Uh, two, one stone brick stair. That's all you need for this build. A double chest. So just two chests. One lava bucket. One observer block. Uh, I'm going to be using stripped dark oak wood. You guys know I've been kind of using that a lot lately. Kind of fell in love with the design. Uh, you're going to need one redstone torch. I believe it's two comparators. I think, yeah, it's two comparators. Um, two redstone repeaters. I'm going to be using a stone button. Again, that's entirely up to you. You could change it around. Some slabs. Uh, trap door, which you also don't need. Let me explain that in a second, actually. Pressure plate, which you also don't need. Uh, some redstone dust. And then I have the chickens for the top. Um, so really quick. So what I have up here, and you don't have to do this at all. Uh, see how I have the trap door with a pressure plate? Eventually they get off the pressure plate. I know it seems like they don't, but eventually they do. And that shuts, allowing uh, any eggs that when they shoot out, if it's around the same time, uh, oh, look, they fall. Uh, they will actually create chickens up here. And the reason I did that is because in any hourglass, you obviously always have some stuff up top. And then you have the stuff that falls to the bottom. But if you don't really care about that, you could just completely get rid of the trap door and the... Uh, pressure plate and the eggs will just shoot straight down so you'll have nothing up there other than the shape i just like to have it so again it just kind of gives you that that hourglass feel where you have a couple of things up top and then obviously have most of the stuff at the bottom it's really quick well it's coming here again okay so anyway <clears throat> so this is what you're going to do this row right here is going to be temporary so i would suggest you build it out of dirt or just something that differs from what you know, whatever's underneath it, I'm just going to be doing temporary out of this. Okay, so you're going to go five, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, oops, not two, three, four, five, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're just going to be going uh, like that. Okay, in the center here, you're going to be putting a dispenser. Okay, facing up like that. And then what we're going to do really quick, I think I came around uh, three times with it, right? One, two, three. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out 
three rows, right? Just like that. So we're just going to come out three rows on all the sides. Okay. Boom, 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 like that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of walk it in just to, just to kind of connect these. Right? One, two, three, like that. Okay, so a little stair step. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. Okay, while we're in here, let's take care of everything we need to take care of. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is right here. Now, this is where you would put your cart if that's what you want to do. Actually, I'm sorry. Get rid of this first. Sorry, don't put that down yet. What you want to do is break that. Okay, so you're going to break all of these. Okay, and then in the center, okay, you break another one. So if we're going to do it, it's one, two, right? And then another one. And then you're going to put uh, redstone like that. Okay, you're going to come down here and you're going to walk it all the way. So let's just get to here. So you're going to have to pick an area. This is going to be my front. Okay, you're going to pick an area. You're going to go two down. You're going to put uh, some redstone and then put a block there. Okay. So then what you're just going to do is you're going to break it like that. There we go. Cool. Oops. There we go. Just like that. And then you're just going to walk the redstone like that. Perfect. Okay. You're going to put an observer. And then you're going to put the dispenser. So if you're keeping track of where it is, the dispenser is the same height as these bottom blocks. Okay, so if you, where is it? So if you come over here and you look, you'll notice that the dispenser sticks up. Okay, you can do it. You can do it another way. Like I said, you can do it any way you want. I like having the quick pulse. You can change this up any way you want, guys. This is very, very simple redstone. You can just put a track going back and forth, right underneath this, whatever you want, and then have the full blocks. Okay, so we have that. We have that set up inside here, inside the dispenser. You're gonna put a lava bucket. Okay, and then you could just give it a test. You're going to put your button right here, and you're just going to give it a nice test. And it should go one, two, real quick. Perfect. Okay, that's how I like it. So that's how I did it. Okay, uh, we can get rid of that now. We don't need it. Put that back and take that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our hoppers. Okay, so the hoppers are going to go on this row. So what you're going to do is open this up right there so those two open that up and open that up okay so then what you're going to do is you're going to put a chest uh keep in mind i like to do this to the sides okay so your chest is going to go right where your button is so it's one two just like that okay and then what you do whoops i forgot we do need this All right we're going to take our slab put a slab there and then put your stairs upside down like that okay so it looks like it's solid here even though that's a half slab and then you can come in here and you can still open it okay so then what you're going to do is you're just going to go uh, put a hopper inside the chest and then just put hoppers into the other hoppers okay so however you'd like to do it it doesn't really matter it's really up to you so i like to go those two into there those two into there and then just kind of go back and forth oops and then same thing here so all of these are going to go into those. All of these are going to go into those. And then I just kind of alternate here and here. There. So now there's an even number uh, of uh, hoppers going into each other. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to take our half slabs. And we're just going to put them down just like this. Okay. Now the reason I don't like mine carts is, again, in Bedrock Edition, they're very, very fussy. Sometimes they work great. Okay. Sometimes they don't. But whenever you walk away... You have a tendency, at least I've had a tendency of things um, despawning. So I like to use hoppers wherever I can, no matter how much lag they cause. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do it with the glass. Okay, so you're going to come right around here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. The initial five that we started with. Okay, we're just going to go just like that. Perfect. And we're going to go up again. It's two rows. Now again, keep in mind, you can go up higher. You can make this so high, as high as you want. Okay. Oh, and the other thing really quick. Uh, where is it again? See how the bottom is different than the top? You can match that if you'd like. I was just too lazy to... You can raise everything by one. 
Um, I just happen to like it like that, and that just hides the redstone on the top. But that's up to you. You can do that if you want. Okay, now what I do is in this corner right here, in each of these corners, I just put a piece of glass, and then we're going to come back in, okay, and we're just going to just go around just like that with the glass, okay? Perfect. Okay, and then keep in mind, you do want to make that tube. So you do, you do have to actually bring that all the way around. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we only go up one with that. Now you just come up, you go on the inside three right here. Okay, and you go one, two, three. So if you see how that looks, just like that. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do, whoops. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up uh, three again. Whoops. Not here though, sorry. We're gonna come out three, I should say. So we're gonna come out three, right there, right? So one, two, whoops, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now keep in mind, you are gonna have to go in here at some point to put the dispenser. So that could get a little, a little tricky. How far up did I put it? It's, oh, I forgot how far I put it. I think I did it on this row right here on this top one. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come out with this, right? Like So now we have these three, right? We're going to come out. So we're going to go one, two, three. So it's basically five on the top. Okay. And you're going to come all the way out with that. So two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, like that. One, two, three, four. And then you just skip in the corner and one, two, three, four, five. And then here, same thing. You skip in the corner, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring that up two rows. Okay, just like so. And then this is where we would start. Um, this is where we would start putting like this. Oh, and then also you also got to fill these in. Sorry. There you go. You don't want the chickens to escape up there somehow or have it pushed away, pushed over there. There you go. So now you got a nice big container for them. Okay. And now what we're going to do is find the center and then put that upside down really quick. So we're going to take another dispenser, right? Put it upside down like that. Cool. And now we can go ahead and just fill this whole top in just like so. Cool. There we go. And we're actually going to have to add, I forgot, we're going to actually have to add uh, blocks around it. Oops. So what you do is on that second row right there, on this row right here, you just go like that. Boom. Okay, just around it like so. Cool. Okay, and then we're just going to pick... Here, we're going to pick an area like this. Whoops. And what you want to do... Okay, so let me just do that again. So let me just do that again, right? So pick an area that's like that. Okay? Because what you're going to you're gonna have to do now is you're going to take your uh, comparator. Okay, uh, we can get rid of that and that. There we go. Uh, you're going to take your comparator and you're going to put it out like that. Okay, whoops, sorry. It's gonna go out like that. Okay, that's gonna go into a piece of redstone dust. Actually, you know what, before you do that, build up the whole outside. Get your outside going. Makes it much easier. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is bring it out. Just like that. There we go. Just like that. Did I bring it out twice? Yeah, I brought it out twice. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So this one actually gets brought out like that. All right? It goes all the way around. And then you bring out the next row one more. So we're just going to bring it out like this. So just make sure everything is out another another row. All right? And 
think this is it right here. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay, so now that's out another row. Cool. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to put, now this is the row we use. Okay, so we just break this really quick on the inside. Okay, so now you have that piece of redstone right on top of that block. And then that, and then what you're going to do, whoops. Sorry. Okay, and then what you're going to do is put a block there. Put a torch there. Okay, that's super important. Now, before we finish the redstone, what you want to do is get these chickens in there. Okay. So first, we're going to take our hopper. We're going to put it into the back. Right, it's the opposite side of where we have the comparator. And then we're just going to put every other hopper into the hopper before it. Okay, just to buy it a little bit more time. There we go. Cool. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this right here. Okay, we're going to go around it. Just like so. And you can actually cover that. And this is, and, oh, and then put a block on top of that. Super important, right? And then before we do that, we're going to take our repeater. And we're going to put a repeater just like that. It has to be on this side. So wherever the torch is, that's the side where it is. Okay. You put that into there. And now any chickens that lay eggs on top of that, it'll, uh, it'll work. So then we're, all you're going to do, this is temporary. We're actually going to change it to half slabs afterwards. So it's not as high. So everywhere you have blocks there, you're going to cover that with another block. So it's too high. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your chickens. Obviously, you'd stand here throwing eggs, but I don't have to do that. I'd say about 10 is good. I don't know how many this, I don't know how many that is. 7, 8, 9, 10. And then what we're going to do, if you can, just put half slabs right on top of them. Okay? And now you can actually break all of this and just put half slabs there. And just like so. Okay? Now, your repeater is over here, okay? So if we just, uh, I don't remember which one I put it on. I think it's on this one. Yeah, I think it's on this one. Okay, so I fixed that really quick. Okay, so now what you're going to do is just put blocks there, right? And then you're going to put a piece of redstone dust there, a piece of redstone dust there. Oops, I'm going to come out with it. It's easier if you come out with it like that. Okay, go here. And then what you're going to do is take your hopper, put a hopper into each other. Okay, oops, sorry, not there. There you go. Put a hopper into each other right there. Then you're going to take your comparator and you're going to stick it right here. And that's where that torch is. Okay, I mean, that's where that, uh, that repeater is on that row right there. Okay. So then what you, so you just basically want to make sure you have it on the same row. I can fix that. You basically want to make sure you have it on the same row as where your repeater is. Okay, so your, your repeater is right there. And then what you're going to do is cover this. And then you're going to put something, and it doesn't matter what it is, just something inside that first one. Okay, so now what happens is whenever there's an egg that goes inside that dropper or that dispenser, it's going to turn this off. Okay, which is going to activate this clock, which is going to send a signal. And every and as long as there's something inside there, it'll just keep going back and forth. So it won't get stuck. Okay, so that's basically uh, that's basically how you do that. And then what I did was I came on the top and I just covered all of this up. Right, so everywhere up here, you just cover it up with a, there we go. Just cover this up too, why not? Okay, you can even cover that up because it's not going to affect it. Boom. Okay, so cover the whole top. And then, uh, like I said, we, if you want to add uh, that other piece, I actually probably should have did that before. But if you would like to add that, uh, that other thing that I added, I'm just going to break this really quick. Okay, you come inside here. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to put a block down temporarily. Then you're going to take a trap door. Put it on the bottom of that block. Okay. Open it up. Break the block behind. And then just put a trap door. Oh, not a trap door. A pressure plate right there. And now you can back out. Okay. Boom. Boom. And there you go. 
And that's the whole build. So if you don't like the way the door looks, don't have the door. Just leave it. Just leave it. So now as soon as something, as soon as there's an egg in there, it'll start shooting out. Okay, and now let's just add the final touch. So we're going to come here to the corners, right, with its glasses. And we're just going to go all the way up with it. Okay, and again, you could just change the design. You could do whatever you want. I originally, okay, I originally used, um, what did I use? I used fences because, you know, skinnier. I thought it might look good. I didn't really like it, but if it's your taste, go for it. You know, go for it. There's no right or wrong. And like I said, you can make this base wider. So you don't have it touching it. You can have it coming out or you can have it on the corners, right? So we'll do that right now, actually. So you can have it like this, where you put it on the corner right here and you go all the way up with it. If that, if that's something that you like, so we could do it that way. All right. But, uh, you know, just, just keep in mind, you can really, uh, you can really customize this however you like. Actually, I don't like that. You know what you could do? You can make this bottom base. Oh, no, you can't make the bottom base a little wider because we have that set up. Yeah. Let's just do it the way I had it originally, right in here. All right. So it, it all depends on the base that you want. You want to make the base bigger? Do it bigger. Just push the, uh, there we go. Just push the hoppers back. All right. But that's it, guys. Just something fun to have. As you can see, we just saw, we just saw an egg down there. Eventually, over time, this will fill up just like how an hourglass is. All right. And then whenever you feel like cooking them, you just shoot out a little burst. And bing, bang, boom. That's it. All right. So hopefully you guys like this. Let me know if you use this. Let me know what you know what, what else you put on the bottom. There's so many things you can do down here. You know, I, I'd be really interested in seeing what you guys did. Like I said, you can put the mine carts. You can put, uh, there's tripwire hooks that you can have over here that go off, right? So as they're coming down, uh, just keep in mind they are babies at first. So um, yeah, I don't know if you'd really want to do that because you do have to let them grow up a little bit. But the whole thing is to symbolize time, right? So it takes time for the eggs to shoot out because it takes time for them to make it. It takes time for them to grow up. So that was the whole build. Everything had to do with time. And I thought chickens were perfect for that. All right? Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Ivis out. Peace.